so you've been pondering getting yourself an iPhone 13 because of the macro feature, right? Because it's, it's cool. But you have an iPhone 12 already, or maybe even an older iPhone. Uh, here, here's something that may be a much less expensive alternative for those that want to shoot macro, but don't want to drop all that money on a brand new iPhone 13. And it's the uh, Sandmark macro lens edition. Now they have this one here that I have for the iPhone 12 Pro, but they do make a macro lens for a bunch of the different iPhones. So today what we're gonna do is take a look at the different uh, mounting options, and of course the actual macro lens piece of glass. And then we're gonna go take some photos and some video with it to uh, see what we think of the quality. All right, coming up. Okay, my friends, so here we go, macro lens edition, iPhone 12 Pro. So I doubt we'll see something like this. I doubt, I don't know, maybe we will for the iPhone 13, possibly. But uh, Sandmark sent this out to us and said, would we like to try it on our 12 Pro before we get the actual 13 Pro? And I was like, yeah, because I'm very curious to see what it's like on the on the 12 Pro because we have, or I have personally tried a bunch of macro lenses from different companies, especially little inexpensive ones. And they're okay, but they're not great. Uh, I'm hoping this one will probably be, be a bit better. Um, and once we get the 13 Pro, I'd like to put this up against it to see the difference because one of the things that I've been seeing is that the 13 Pro uses the ultra wide lens to get its macro. Uh, and I believe this one actually uses the standard wide lens. So there's definitely some benefits for using the standard wide, being that it actually is a uh, lower aperture lens, so it's a faster lens. So that, that may actually be useful. So this is, this is it here on their website, Sandmark, uh, macro lens edition, of course. Uh, you got a little video if you guys want to go over there and take a look at it. Superior optics, yeah, these are ones that are filmed on macro, versatile mounting system. Now, be aware, uh, this one I think, this the package with the lens comes in about $90 uh, for the lens itself with the little, I think it has the clip mount inside, I think. Um, but you can buy their case, which is what I have here. So we're gonna just kind of show you both depending on what you're looking for. And I do think if you went to the 12 Pro here and decided that you wanted to just get the case, do they have just a case? Fisheye, wide lens, look at all the different lenses they have, so many, here's cases. So you're looking at about, if you just did something like one of these Pro case, uh, about forty dollars, so that's that's not too bad. That's fairly reasonable in regards to cases. You know, you can't get cheaper, but you can also get much more expensive. So first off, let's take a look at what comes in this here box. So this is the actual. Ooh, it comes in a little, little, little bit of goodness. Oh, and this comes. This comes with a. That's interesting. This one came with a little case inside it, and then. There's a case. I'm wondering if I got a case and an, another case. Why do they look like? Are they the same? Oh, this is just the standard case. This must be just the standard case that it comes with. Yes, you with me? Okay. All right, you can see that there. This one looks like a MagSafe case. I'm guessing, see that little mag right there, magnet? See the difference between the two? And this has got a nice little felty on the inside that's gonna be much nicer when you're got that up against your phone. And this, let's see. Uh, no, they both feel metal-y. This is more silver, that's a little more space grayish. Okay, all right. But this one's definitely a bit more a bit more heavy duty. You can even see on the sides here, this one just has the area cut out, whereas this one actually has like physical buttons and things like that. So uh, a couple of differences, depending on what you want. MagSafe, is that a thing actually up here? Oh, uh, you see magnet enabled. 
Pro case. So that's what, this is the Pro case, and this I guess is just what comes with it. Okay, what else is in here? We're learning as we go. We're learning as we go. That's, that's very nice. So we do get the little clamp. So here's a little clamp that you can use if you are someone who just wants to not change your case or you don't want to put a case on at all. So you want to just be able to pop this on and you get a, you get a microfiber cloth, very nice. And you get the lens itself, put that over there. And you get this. Now what's cool about this, and people might be like, yeah, whatever, it's like a lens hood. But a lot of lens hoods that come with these kind of camera lenses for like iPhones and things like that, they're black. Uh, this is clear, which is great, because with macro photography, one of the issues is we need light. And if you have a lens hood up against what you need, you're getting shadowed by the lens hood. Number two is that this is perfect distance for the macro lens for focusing, which means that all you have to do is whatever you want to take a picture of, you kind of just push this up against it and you're the right distance. There's none of this going back and forth trying to figure out where to get. You're there already. And you'll see two little hoods or two little uh, protective, protective covers, I guess. So one on the back for here, pop off. And of course one on the front, right? Here's your lens, lens hood, lens cover, camera and mobile phone lens. Yeah, that's all right. I like that quite a bit. Hold on. Oh, doorbells are ringing, packages are coming. Um, so anyways, we seem to have everything. Now the other thing that they had said, actually in the video, if you, if you decide to go watch it, is that if for whatever reason, you forget your little uh, microfiber cloth, this can also be used as a, in case of emergency cleaner. So that's kind of nice. So let's take my phone here. This is my phone. <sighs> Use my new, my new cleaner here because you do want these lenses to be clean as well. And let's just see if it mounts on this. So let's just see here. There's a little cap here too, just so you guys see that, that you want to take off because that just kind of keeps it there. I'm guessing that I'm not even 100% sure what that part's for, but but it's there. It's just something to keep that intact, I guess. Okay, so this would go. Oh, I see. No, this goes. This stays on if possible. Would be my guess, right? Like that. You got that. So that it has a nice pivotable pressure point on the back of your of your existing phone. So for instance here, you would put that on there. And now you got a pad on the front. It's not going to scratch your screen at all. Yeah. Okay, that that's that makes that makes good sense. Right? And then you just kind of put that wherever you need it. You guys can see that there. And then you take your lens, get this off. Just take the back one off here. Simple little screw that on. All right? Make sure it's lined up however you want it there. Does that, I don't want to unscrew it. I just want this, okay, that just pops off. Okay, I'm with you so far. And then you take this, this fella, and that just, that just, just pops on. Doesn't need to be squished or anything. It's really just kind of a distance maker. All right, so now I'm curious. I have my camera up here. Oh yeah, so if you look there, right, it's like no focus. And just make sure you get it where you need to. So just kind of get it up here. Okay. And let's bring my knife up here. Let's bring my knife up here. Distance wise, it says just kind of get where, oh yeah, right there. Photo, boom, taking a picture. Boom. And you can see like it, it has that, that's kind of focal spot right there, right? It's right at that, that spot for distance. Okay, that works good, that works all right. But I think what would be handier, because that's, that's normally what it would look like, 
back that's where it focuses right there so you can see a non that's where it focuses versus where it focuses now I don't know if you could put this on any of the lenses so definitely not there now I'm pretty sure let's see if I went to the zoom lens could you put it on the zoom lens no could you put it on the ultra wide lens which I think is that one there you could but you get this, you guys can see it, this weird little circle. So it definitely goes on the standard wide. But yeah, you get much closer. Okay, so let's put it on the case, the actual physical case. So we're going to take that off. We're going to take my case off. Okay, doggy. We're going to put the MagSafe case on. I like the MagSafe case. Okay, fits on, fits on really nice. I like it too because it doesn't have, like it's not a huge profile to it. Like you could wear that. Or have that on your phone all the time and not a, not a big deal because a lot of these extra cases sometimes you get you're like yeah I'll never I'll never use that but this could be your your everyday case and then you just take that and does that screw on there yes it does perfect now let's just see you got a camera and what's nice about that yeah for sure you guys may be able to see that is that it's perfect. There's no like lens in the image at all. Like, you're just trying to get it just perfect, right? This is right. Let's see. Right there. Boom. Right, right there. Boom. Yeah, that's good. What about what about something like this? Can we see texture? And what's cool about it, I'll do this, is that again, because you got this hood, right, that's there. Just take another picture, ready, and click. Uh, light comes into the lens, which is super nice. Normally it wouldn't. You wouldn't get any kind of light coming into that lens. Let's take some silica gel, right? Boom. Not that I'm shooting anything exciting. Uh, let's, let's go upstairs and take some photos. I'm gonna go I'll take some photos upstairs and some photos outside. All right, hold on, let's, let's go there. Let's try some video, shall we? Okay, so I'm I'm just gonna say it. Uh, that that lens is awesome. It is so awesome. Uh, I only went outside for maybe maybe 15, 20 minutes to take some photos, and wow, the clarity on those pictures is great. And you know I can talk about it as much as I want, but I'm gonna just put some photos and videos up here. Uh, here's a bunch of photos that I took inside and outside. Uh, and it is just incredible how, for one, let's put the two together, how incredible this little tiny macro lens is. It's fantastic. And I have to say that with that clear uh, hood on it, you get, it's so helpful knowing exactly how much distance you need from your subject, as well as uh, being able to get that extra light to come into the lens 
really useful and you can see in these photos like the photos turned out so good and of course I'm showing you some of the better better ones but out of all the photos I took I'd say 80% of them actually turned out really well so you know there's no complaints now in the video world uh, I took some video of course in the house and I took some video of course outdoors and I started off taking video completely in just standard 4k uh, and letting it do its thing but it's it is really hard if you're hand holding to keep the camera really steady at that kind of distance especially if you're kind of reaching or you're kind of in a weird position or you don't have a tripod or just for the fact that everything that you're shooting any kind of movement when you're that close to it just seems to be magnified so I kind of smartened up about halfway through shooting and was like, why don't I just shoot it all in like slow-mo? So I shot it, I was shooting it actually in uh, 120 frames. Uh, you could shoot this in 240 to get even slower, but in 120, uh, it just looks absolutely fantastic, especially if you're getting all kinds of light. And on the edges, everything, it looks really sharp. I was quite impressed with it. So if you're someone that, is curious about macro photography, macro video. Uh, this actually kind of opened my eyes a little bit to macro. I've always been curious and I've, I've played around with macro photography in that in the past, but never really too much with my iPhone because I've never really had any optics that were really quite good. But this, uh, this has changed my whole thought process. Some of those photos were fantastic. Especially one of my favorite ones, honestly, was the spider web. This one, this one right here, the little spider web that caught a couple of little flies or mosquitoes in it. I was like, that's super cool. I was trying to walk around to see if I could find a web with an actual spider in it. That's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find one for sure. Um, you know what? 90 bucks. If you're, again, if you're looking at macro photography with your smartphone, your iPhone, this is a really great option without question. Uh, if you were looking at going to uh, an iPhone 13 because of the macro photography feature of it, well, you may want to be like, really? Maybe I'll go this way. Now, we will be doing a macro photo comparison between the iPhone 12 Pro with this and the iPhone 13 Pro with out this just using its built-in macro mode so that's going to be coming up soon as soon as we get our hands on the iphone 13. all right guys uh i'm super impressed really really i am uh links links to sandmark's page and, and we'll we'll see what we can find for where this is being sold and that's it for today uh like comment share subscribe hit that little notification bell and again make sure you get on down there because we will be having a whole bunch of photography comparison videos between the iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 13 uh, coming up soon. All right, guys, I will see you next video. Later.